Boss, what do we have there? Uh, we have some bogus done. And to judge which elephant dropped this done, you need to check the urine and the done itself. Uh, because it's a bigger male, that's why you can see the distance. And also the urine, it will come to spread towards the done. If it is a female, like what Owen explained um, yesterday, uh, the females, you see the urine, it will be uh, in the middle um, and also apart uh, far from the dam. But because the male, uh, when the urine, uh, the, the, the urine, it, it spreads towards the dam. That's another difference. If you are walking or you find an elephant dam along the way you are trekking or whatever you are doing in the environment. If you come across with the dam, you also uh, check which is it a female or a male through the dam. Okay. Yeah. Good. And that is quite close, eh? Hey? Yeah, quite close. I mean, if, especially for a big bull elephant. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this is Kumbura, uh, one of the uh, young female in the head. And also, like this, when they are out in the bush feeding, it's difficult to identify uh, which is female and a male. But on Kumbura here, if you look on the forehead, the female says uh, quite an angular shape on the forehead and um, the males more round on the forehead. It's uh, that's the man um, to identify a female and a male because um, um, it, when they are not uh, like like now you can see she was uh, urinating and also dropping the dam uh, to and also if you come across with an elephant dam uh, to identify is it a male and a female you need to measure uh, from where that elephant urinate and the dam. And also it shows you um, how big that female is. Because this is a, a young, uh, young female in the head. Um, it's almost a half a meter from the dam to the urine. But, and also if it is a male, the urine, it goes straight where the dam is, maybe um, half a meter or so. And also it shows you how big that a male is as well. And the urine, yeah. So it was, uh, see, there is a, a big gap between the urine and the dam. Okay. With the males, they usually pee on their dung because when the limousine moves out of, of, of the garage, it bends backwards. <laughs> that makes them to pee on their dung. <laughs> Um, now we have four bulls here, and this is the dog. And as I explained before about the females and the male to differentiate them, if you look on the forehead of the male, it's more round. Also, you can look, Jabulani here is facing us here. It's more round, and the female is in quite an angular shape. And um, now, because of this, our uh, bulls are the bigger, uh, uh, the alpha male, I pull down a bigger branch that's why all these young males they come also to feed with him as well because it's very friendly among the head because it's the alpha male uh, and also the males um, their genitals they always stay in the porch except when they are uh, urinating and drop down it's where you can see that but now when they are relaxing feeding um, um, you're not gonna see that and um, that's why you can see here on Sabakwe, which is the alpha male as well. 
is eating and enjoying uh, his brunch. Uh, he pulled down a whipping water tree. All right. So as we move right underneath, you will see that both sexes carry nipples. Okay. So you got you got two nipples. This one here and one to the one to the right, right here. Okay. So it's very difficult to differentiate between a male and a female. Uh, uh, when you're looking at the nipples, because both sexes carries the nipples, right? But on the females, once they have the babies, you can clearly see the the breasts and the nipples. So that indicates also that's a female. And then the males, you can't really see the breasts; you only see the nipples. So that's the other different feature between the male and the female elephant. All right. So when the babies suckle the, the milk from the mothers, mother actually sucking from the nipples. So the mother will make just one step forward and then create a space so that the baby can suck all the milk comfortably without any disturbance. All right, so that can also, um, it's very interesting with the females how they know that the baby needs to switch over to another breast, you know. And then as we carry on talking about the different features between males and females, the other one you can also take a look on the forehead. Okay. I mean, males have much flat, rounded forehead at the top, and females have much more angular forehead, and that also gives you a, a huge difference between a male and a female elephant. So you can differentiate these guys from a distance by looking at their forehead as well. So it's very, very interesting. Um, but body-wise, always the males are much bigger. Uh, even taller than your females. Always the males weighs uh, up to six tons, whereas your females may weigh up to five and a half or five tons. So always the males are much bigger than your females. Okay, so yeah, um, very interesting uh, how these guys are. Uh, all right.